everybody. Welcome back to my channel. It is so good to be back in the kitchen today and cooking. Um, I want to thank everybody for all of the well wishes that you sent my way uh, when I was sick and I uh, wasn't able to make any decent videos except telling, to be able to tell you that I was sick. But I, I did go to CVS and I got the Imodium and I only took one and I uh, went back to bed and that settled my stomach and I'm much better today. So thank you so much for your well wishes and most of all for your prayers. So I'm in the kitchen today and I'm going to be cooking up a meal. Uh, this food was sent to me by my uh, sweet subscriber who lives in Nashville, Tennessee. And uh, he just got on... Um, Instacart and ordered me some food and he just picked out complete meal so I'm going to be able to use everything that he sent to make a complete meal so um, I'm going to be using the Zatarain's bourbon chicken mix today I've never used this one so I'm really anxious to try it um, it calls for I think a pound is it a pound of um, any kind of protein actually but I'm going to choose um, my subscriber sent me boneless, thin, uh, boneless, skinless thighs, so that's what I'm going to chop up and use. And you brown the chicken pieces, and then you mix water and the rice mix, the chicken and butter, in a saucepan, and then until well blended, bring it to a boil, reduce heat, cover, simmer for 25 minutes. So I'm going to have my dinner ready here in about 30 minutes, and I'm hungry, so I can't wait to eat it. The first Zatarain's product that I used was the red beans and rice, and I loved it back then. So when they first came out with it, I think this bourbon chicken might be fairly new. So let me go ahead and get my pot heated up. Mm, smells good. I'm debating on whether or not to season the chicken a little bit. I, I got out my <laughs> onion powder and, and garlic powder, but I'm kind of afraid to use it. A better way. I'd, I'd rather it be. Let's just see what it tastes just like using only the, the mixture in the Zatarain's box. So uh, let me go ahead and pour some olive oil in my skillet. I'm trying to get used to my new phone holder. It has the, the gooseneck on it that is supposed to let me be able to film from above. <laughs> oh, let's see. So y'all can see the food as it actually cooks. Okay, how's that? Okay, so I have my skillet heating up. I'm gonna put some olive oil in it. Then I'll just start um, chopping up the, the chicken. I'm gonna try using my scissors. I think that'll be easier than add these beautiful chicken thighs. I'm sure you could use sausage or pork, even, whatever. I'm still eating that on that pork roast. I um, made my own homemade barbecue sauce out of ketchup and Worcestershire sauce and butter and shredded a little piece of it and made me a barbecue pork sandwich. So, a lot of y'all have been telling me that the stomach You've had that stomach flu and stomach virus and flu like baby Ife had a couple of weeks ago. And you've been really sick from it also. I'm gonna let that get a little bit hotter. She was so sick, poor little thing. When I was in CBS, I was looking for jewelry. You know, usually they'll have like a little necklace or a little set of rings or something for a dollar or two. So the other day when I babysat her, she said, um, Mommy bought me a Hello Kitty ring. I love her so much. <laughs> Meaning she loves her mother so much for buying it for her. <laughs> so then um, she told me that she wants a mermaid ring. I said, okay, Grandma will see if she can find me a mermaid ring. <laughs> I thought, well, maybe they'll have a mermaid ring. No, they said they didn't have any little girl here. So I thought that was odd. 
one of my subscribers lives in the Mojave Desert, and she said, um, she emailed me yesterday and said, um, it was not, it was a cool day. It was 90 degrees. <laughs> oh, Lord, when it gets up to 90 here, I'm just miserable. When I first moved to New York, I thought, oh, I'm, I'm not going to be able to survive the cold. It's going to be terrible. But I did. I survived it. And I love it. It's hard shoveling the snow, but where I live, maintenance, or they hire, I guess they hire somebody to clean the parking lot. So really all I have to do is shovel my car out and remove the snow off my car. I sprayed the pot with him, but and stuck to it anyway. I'm going to scrape this off because I want this goodness to be. And the mixture of my food. Tablespoon of butter. I think it's time to add the water now. It's nice and brown. And I'm chicken pieces mix two and a fourth cups of water. I'm going to filter my water so that's one. The water runs very slow from the filter, but it's worth waiting for. Two. And a fourth. Then add the rice mix and to well blended, bring to boil, reduce heat to low, cover and simmer 25 minutes. mix smells good. This is what it looks like. And it sure smells good. without putting my secret ingredient. <laughs> Gotta add a dash of that. Justin Wilson would be very disappointed in me if I didn't. Okay, I think that seasoning is just about dissolved. I will cover it and let it simmer for 25 minutes. And then I'll be back and we will eat dinner. Okay, so 25 minutes have gone by. Hmm. Mm. Smells good. Smells so good. So let's go ahead and get me a serving of this up. Ooh, I believe I'm gonna have to make a some cornbread to go with it. Sure smells good. Such a quick and easy meal to make. Oh. Okay. Let's go to my table and, and taste it. Oops, I don't know if this thing. I haven't used it other than on the stove before, so let's see. It's 
So what I want to do is make a video one day of my plants. I got to get over there and um, trim all the dead, um, the dead leaves off of them and everything. Yeah, I do have that cloudy look. <laughs> So we'll call it a sultry look <laughs> in the background. Okay, so here we go. Zatarain's bourbon chicken. Chicken bourbon. <laughs> How do you say chicken in French? Pull, it's not polo, is it? Oh, cock of ving. <laughs> Cuckabing, I think. Oh, I was just starving, waiting the 25 minutes for it to cook because it smells so good. I really like this. Thank you to my subscriber who chose this particular one for me. I've never, I've had the chicken jambalaya, or the chicken, I've had the Zatarain's jambalaya and the Zatarain's uh, red beans and rice, but not the bourbon chicken. You know what would be good thrown in here is some broccoli. That would be just be perfect. It would have that little bit of sweetness to it and spiciness. I think I'll boil some broccoli and mix it in with my, my next uh, serving of it. So I hope y'all enjoyed my video today. It was so good to have you here. Please give me a thumbs up and share. And if you're just passing through, I would love it if you would join my YouTube family. Just hit the red subscribe button down there and you just keep on coming back. Goodbye guys.